I want you to think about all the times that you might be justifying or talking yourself out of or coming up with an easier alternative because the conditions aren't what you want them to be. You don't want to do your workouts because the weather sucks. If you're going to wait around for perfect circumstances, how can you ever accomplish anything? If you could be in control of your decisions and your actions 100% of the time, what could you not accomplish? And how could you not get where you want to go? If you look at life as it is a trial ground, a testing ground for where you need to go, suffering is a fact of life. It is a great tool to callous your mind. If you learn how to flip that motherfucker on top of his head and say, hang on, hang on, there's so much power in this fucking thing. If you look at it like, okay, motherfucker, you're testing me now. I get it. Whenever I'm being like depressed, I go through depressed moments, I go, oh, hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting tested. Conditions will never be perfect. A lot of people, me included for a long time, sat around and waited for the stars to align or the sea to part or for everything to be perfect for me to just go. And if it wasn't perfect, I'd come up with a justification. When I was 350 pounds and completely unhealthy, not training, not doing my workouts, I'd look outside and I'd see, you know, that it wasn't, you know, 70 degrees and sunny. And I would come up with this little story about how it's cold and I'll start tomorrow. Or What I'm talking about here is justifying our lack of action based upon the external circumstances. We're writing a book every day of our lives, but we never read that book. We want to find out how to be someone else. What we don't do is we don't go inside. So literally turn yourself inside out. You have to look inside of yourself and see what you really want. What what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. So when I speak, I speak from passion. I speak from experience. I, I, I speak from suffering. You have to understand that whatever these things are that you're trying to do, there are going to be wave after wave after wave after wave of inconvenient shit that hits you in the fucking face. That doesn't matter. People who win, win regardless of those waves. It's not that they don't have those waves. It's that they say, hey, I can't control what the fuck is going on. All I control is what I decide in my mind and the actions I take. Some days are going to be harder than others. Some days are going to be a little easier than others, but I can promise you one fucking thing for sure. There will never, ever, ever be a day that goes exactly as you want it to go. It doesn't exist. I understand that every time I do something that is inconvenient, every time I do something that is hard, every time I do something that other people wouldn't do, I'm building the strength of my mental discipline to move forward regardless of the external circumstances in our lives. And this is a skill. This is not a gift. It is not something I was born with. It's something that people learn how to do over time. And I can tell you right now, every single motherfucker that you see doing whatever it is that you want to do, whether it be in business, whether it be in sports, whether it be in music, whether it be in fitness, whether it be having a great relationship, these people, all of them, will wake up and do the work regardless of what's going on in their life. So how do we get to this point? How do we get to a point where we will move forward regardless of what's going on in life? What I would like you to consider is how can you improve this part of your life? Well, it's real simple, guys. And I learned this lesson from a guitar teacher I had 10 years ago, all right? And he said to me, he said, hey, Andy, 
um, you you don't have any fucking patience. And I'm like, well, no shit, Matthew. I have fucking zero patience. And he's like, you know how you get patience? And I said, how? And he says, by doing things that require patience. And that's what I want you to remember. If you need to understand and you need to develop how to operate regardless of what's going on in external circumstances when things are inconvenient, how do you get better at that? Well, you get better at that by doing things that are inconvenient intentionally. Okay, looking for opportunities to move forward when the circumstances are not ideal. Looking for opportunities to make things harder on yourself. Looking for opportunities to develop the mental aspect of discipline and fortitude that are going to move you forward. This is a major, major, major key to winning long-term in life. I'm talking about making a life where you are a perpetual winner in any direction you decide to go, all right? And this is a skill you're going to have to develop. Realize, hey, do you have this or do you not? Take inventory of how many times you're talking yourself out of everything. Take inventory how many times you justify your lack of action based upon what's going on with your mood or your world or your relationship or your job. How many times are you talking yourself out of doing what you know you need to do? My guess is probably a lot more than you should be. If you want to develop this superhuman skill of kicking ass every single time, no matter what the fuck is going on in your life, no matter what's going on in your world, no matter what's going on with the weather, no matter what's going on in our crazy ass society, if you want to learn how to kick ass regardless of all those things, you will actively seek out opportunities to strengthen this muscle that is doing shit when it's not convenient. That's called discipline. Success and winning is not convenient. Success and winning is not comfortable. Success and winning in fucking life is going to be a daily fucking task for you. The the one thing that can make it exponentially easier is understanding that the waves of inconvenience are going to crash on your fucking face regardless of who you are, regardless of what race you are, regardless of where you come from, regardless of what country you're from. It's just the nature of being a fucking human in society. This is this is my experience in life. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. You got to start your journey. It may suck, but it will it will come out the other side where you're coasting.